I think this is one of the coolest things humans have ever seen. What you're seeing is the very fabric of the universe being distorted. It's called gravitational lensing, and this is how it works. You were probably told at school that light moves in straight lines, but that's not exactly true. Light rays can curve if the space they're traveling through is curved. It's in the same way that if you try to draw a straight line on a globe, you'll actually get a curved one. But how can space itself be curved? Well, Einstein worked out over a century ago that this is what gravity is. His general theory of relativity explains that massive objects warp the fabric of the universe around them, and that curvature is what we understand as a gravitational field. To visualize this, think of a bowling ball placed in the center of a trampoline. Its weight will warp the fabric around it, and if you try to roll another ball near it, it will be pulled in towards the center, just like an object will be pulled in by a planet's gravity. And crucially, this pull affects light too. And that brings us back to this image. You might think you're looking at a single spectacular galaxy, but you're actually looking at two galaxies, one behind the other. The hazy light in the center is one galaxy, and the swirl around it is light from a different, much more distant galaxy. The central galaxy is huge, so it's massively bending space around it. So as light from the distant galaxy passes by, its path gets bent in towards the center. And that's why we see it in this vast swirling ring. It's being magnified and distorted by the nearer galaxy, which is acting as a cosmic lens. And that's why we call this process strong gravitational lensing. In reality, the more distant galaxy probably looks something like this classic spiral. And you can pick out spiral galaxy details on the lensed image, like these bright star forming clusters, or the core of the galaxy here, and here. That's a common feature of gravitational lenses. They can distort the light so much that we see the same object multiple times. The classic case is the so-called Einstein cross. In this image, these four dots are all the exact same quasar, magnified and copied by the gravity of a galaxy in front of it. This is happening because the quasar and the lensing galaxy aren't quite in line, so the light gets pulled into multiple different paths of least resistance. But if they're perfectly aligned, you get this, an Einstein ring, where the light is evenly distributed around the intervening galaxy, and these are pretty stunning. Now, you might be wondering, does the lens have to be as large as a galaxy? Does something like our sun, for instance, have enough mass to alter the path of light? Well, this was actually the key test of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Einstein's calculations predicted that starlight passing just by our sun would have its path bent, and therefore the star would appear in a slightly different position to usual. So in 1919, four years after Einstein published the final version of his theory, astronomers tested it during a total solar eclipse. With the moon blocking out the sun's light, they could photograph the stars right next to it. And sure enough, the stars did appear shifted from their usual positions. This subtle effect is called weak gravitational lensing, and its discovery led to widespread acceptance of Einstein's theory of relativity. Fast forward 100 years, and gravitational lensing is still at the forefront of scientific discovery. For instance, by spotting the subtle signs of weak lensing, scientists were able to work out where there must be clumps of dark matter, that mysterious, invisible substance that makes up 85% of the universe's mass. And strong gravitational lensing is invaluable too. Because strong lensing magnifies objects, scientists can use these lucky alignments to look deeper into the universe than we could ever hope to with our current technology. That's why it's so exciting that the Euclid Space Telescope recently discovered some 500 galaxies that appear to be acting as gravitational lenses. That's 500 new windows into otherwise hidden structures in the distant early universe. Being able to see and harness the warping of the fabric of the universe is a truly remarkable achievement. And that's why this is one of the coolest things humans have ever seen.